I feel like definitely if you were to ask someone what's your sign, it's much different than a lot of the guys that are using that line. <laughs> That's very true. I actually know what I'm saying. Astrology is a crazy art that I started when I was really young, but my whole life is about bringing spirituality, whether it's astrology or tarot or divination tools and making it cool and hip and all about reconnecting us with the ancient arts because astrology is much more than just planets and you know, what's your sign? It's actually a deep science and I take it very seriously, but I want to make it fun, I want to make it exciting. So I DJ with it, I put house music and make house music mixes that go with the astrology. I'm just really taking it to the next level. I have to admit that when I want to pick me up in my love life, I'll flip to the back of a magazine and I'll read my horoscope. Is it kind of just something that people use to get excited about and make them feel better? Does it actually really work? It's been given a cheapened state based off magazines now because it's not getting to the depth of your own unique soul. So if you want to go deeper into astrology, you must talk with an astrologer, just like the kings and queens did, just like all the ancients did, and to look deep into your own chart. I think in many ways, horoscopes are a way to help push you in the right direction, to leave your mind. It's the only way to go with the flow of this universe and to accept consciousness is when you leave thought. I would challenge people who say compatibility doesn't work because they're cutting off those doorways into a beautiful, magical, energy. It's like saying magic doesn't exist. David, do you want to play a game with me? I'm down. Let's do it. I'm so ready. So let's go through some of these celebrity couples and their compatibility or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. The conscious uncoupling recent breakup of Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. Does that make sense that they're breaking up? I'd call it the unconscious breakup. I think they'd wake up and just be like, what's going on, honey? I have no idea. And then maybe <laughs> they could sit in bed all day and nothing will happen. It's like their agents or their managers have to control the relationship, plan the dinners that they go to. Even this picture is a planned dinner. I don't even know if they even knew how to get out of the house much. That's the one thing about Pisces. Libra's decisions are not done well. This is a very strong couple. It's almost like a best friendship. Libra, Gemini energy are very friendship. And even if they break up, they'll remain best friends for the rest of their life. King and queen. She's a Virgo, he's a Sag. I think it's an oddball at match, I'm gonna be honest. I think that they push a really good persona. Even this picture looks very oddball. I think that this is gonna be a relationship that in the future really is tested intensely. If you're somebody who truly knows when your friend calls you and you knew when they were talking, you were just talking about them and then that yeah. happens and then you pass the sign that you guys met and then the next thing you know, like everything happens. And I have goosebumps now because that's true. That's really happening. And if you connect with that, you'll find magic in your life.